this week's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about my personal experience with social anxiety um, because for a long time I had social anxiety and didn't even know I was dealing with these issues and then when someone told me I was dealing with these issues, I was in complete denial that there was even any sort of a problem. Um, and now, you know, I am dealing with it and things are getting better, but I had to understand what was happening first. So if you're interested and want to hear about my experience with social anxiety, stay tuned. First thing I want to say is you, nobody is born with social anxiety. In fact, I didn't have social anxiety for most of my life. Social anxiety develops over time. Um, it can have to do with kind of, I guess, your social self-esteem level, making up my own words here, whereas it, it develops because you go into these social situations and for whatever reason you feel like you are failing in these social situations, maybe you are repeatedly being rejected in social situations, maybe for someone who might have difficulty reading social situations, the rejections and the social failures may be completely confusing and you may not know why you're having um, social failures and so that in itself can be very traumatic. Uh, but social anxiety is not something that people naturally have. It's something that develops. Because social anxiety is not something that anyone is born with, it is something that we can recover from. I think it has a lot to do with how much we care about what other people think about us, in a way. Um, for me, when I was young, I didn't give a darn about what anybody thought of me. I didn't care if I accidentally offended people. And even into my mid-teens, actually even in my, through my teens and my mid-twenties, I had this attitude where it was some, if someone was offended, it was their fault for being offended. It was like, well, they can screw off. They're offended. That's not my fault. They shouldn't be offended. And that really was my attitude. And that worked for the first quarter of my life, kind of. But as I grew into adulthood and started to enter the workforce and have to do more adult things, that attitude did not work anymore. That attitude doesn't work as an adult. And I had to face the consequences of my actions for the first time in my life. And it was a bit shocking, uh, especially in the workplace. I think work is what really helped me um, tone it down a, a lot. But at the same time, it, it, it can be quite difficult. And so I went from, you know, this person over here who didn't give a crap about what anybody had to say, um, which you can't, you can't be that person. You have to be a little bit more balanced. Um, but then I, I came over here and I started to care too much. And that's where the social anxiety is. It's when you're caring too much about the, the interactions with other people. Or maybe, you know, if you have, you're obsessing, you know, even days later about, oh, I think I offended this person, and you're like going over the situation over and over again in your head, and you just can't let it go. That stuff, that's the stuff that's not healthy. That's the stuff that we have to let go of. That's the stuff we can't do. So that that's the, that's the, the total opposite end of the I don't give a crap. So one of my main personal goals for 2018 is because I'm not down there anymore so much. I, I'm, I've come up a bit. I'm, I'm working. I've been rebalancing. But 2018, I'm going to be trying a lot harder to hit this more and to really just rebalance myself. I can't go, you know, I can't go back to the, the, this person, but I'm going to be in the middle somewhere. That's my goal for 2018. So hopefully, you know, maybe I'll get there by the end of 2018 or if not sooner, and then I can add another, another goal. So anyway, those are my thoughts on social anxiety. I would love to know if you have personal experience with social anxiety uh, or if you have a goal, personal goal for 2018, I'd love to know what your goals are. 
Um, I don't have New Year's resolutions. I just try to set personal goals every year. Uh, so do you do that or do you set resolutions? Anyway, it's almost that time of year. I will talk to you guys next week and be sure to subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.